everybody, this is Becky Legiro for CoinGeek.com, here with Brendan Lee of ELAS, and we are at the University of Exeter attending the Scrypt Hackathon Project. So Brendan, first of all, tell me, what brings you here to Exeter to join this project? Sure. Uh, well, I've been talking to Jack Rogers about Bitcoin and, you know, related things for you know, well over two years, probably getting on three years now. Uh, he and I are collaborating on a book with Neil Smith, uh, which is coming out, I think, probably middle of next year, which is really fantastic. And, you know, I just kind of love seeing that next group of possible Bitcoiners coming through and learning about these tools and what we can do with the blockchain. And uh, so just to be here and, and be introduced to that in, in some small ways is really great. Really, really cool. And what kind of content is being shared with the students here in the classroom? Oh, well, Jawe has done an amazing job of putting together a really concise set of tutorials that take the students through Escript from, you know, the very basic implementation of like a Hello World smart contract through to playing games like tic-tac-toe. And they're in there at the moment working on a smart contract that captures votes. And uh, so he's, he's got a great plan to take them through a series of more and more complex smart contracts. And he's adding in things like the front end. And uh, so really giving them that full picture of everything that they need to start building on BSV today. So. so very cool. And what's the level of engagement? Are you hearing lots of interesting questions, class participation? What are you observing? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, the students have been brilliant. And um, what we saw on the first day was we had around uh, some, you know, of the 25 or so teams, I think all but one completed the task. Uh, yesterday was a little bit less, but they're all in there and they're all trying and you know they're all very interested to learn a lot more about this and I, I get the distinct feeling that the way it's being presented is really uh, capturing their attention and they're realizing there's more to this than just crypto tokens or uh, you know the typical stuff that they hear from the blockchain people who come and, and teach them. And the fact that Jawe has an entire stack where you can do everything from the contract to the front end and it's all integrated really tightly with Escript is a real point of difference between a lot of the pro other products out there uh, and we've actually compared this to a similar lesson that was done earlier in the year using Ethereum smart contracts and the number of different packages and uh, tools that the students had to install from all these different providers was amazing whereas with the, what the Escript team have, everything they're getting is from Escript. It's designed to work with Escript. And so it's really been quite seamless in terms of everything just working together. So uh, I think the students have really appreciated that. And certainly the questions that they've been asking has shown me that they're really thinking about, wow, you know, this really has real world application. How can I prepare myself to go out into the world as a professional and leverage this into whatever it is that I'm doing. Yeah. That's amazing. And I love that the students have access to people like Xiaowe, to you, to Dr. Wright soon, and to, to some others in the space. That's really, really exciting. And to have you here and our side of the world is also very nice, Brendan. We saw each other at the London Blockchain Conference and you had some panel and some presentations, lovely stuff going on over there. But just to get to know a little bit about what you're working on at ELAS, I know that you are working with Token of Eight or you built their platform. Tell us about that project and why it is so exciting. Well, Token of Eight um, brings a, a lot of experience about um, you know, the real trading ecosystem out there. And it's vastly different to the kind of trading ecosystem that we see with, with cryptocurrency where you've just got exchanges really doing like spot trades and stuff like that. This is all about connecting the big banks to the products that the world really wants to buy and sell. And so the first product that we're rolling out with Token of Eight is um, uh, co smart contracts for purchasing voluntary carbon certificates. And so we see this as being a, a huge potential market and it's a new product. So uh, because we don't already have that legacy of this is how we've always done it with this product, uh, it gives us the freedom to bring something totally new into the market and to demonstrate that the BSV blockchain has all of the features and tools that we need to implement a complete trade lifecycle as a smart contract 
and use the blockchain as a ledger that captures the consensus between all the different parties on the trade. And um, we've started showing this to people within the industry and we saw at the conference Richard was on stage with the CEO of ISDA and the CEO of GMEX Exchange who are two of our big partners uh, in this project and so they're actually sitting up and noticing and they're seeing that wow this actually is something really useful for us and um, I'm really optimistic that we might start seeing very large volumes of trades coming through the Token of Eight platform potentially later this year. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a tremendously exciting project. So exciting, it's all about smart contracts. We yes. are all about smart yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, also Brendan, a big initiative that's going on with Enchain and, and also a university in the Philippines mm -hmm. is to educate young people there on what they can do with blockchain tech, especially the scalable public blockchain. Um, can you talk about your involvement with educating young folks over there in the Philippines? Sure. Uh, I haven't been too directly involved with the educational side, um, except from the perspective of having written a lot of the courses that they'll be doing. But, you know, with the dojo opening up over there and all of the initiatives that, you know, what we have been doing is working with, with the team at Enchain on... Um, what we're going to deliver for the Philippines and in particular the province of Bataan who've really jumped in and said we want to be first and you know they have a critical need for this technology in in so many ways in the Philippines and what's really exciting to me is that this serves as an opportunity for them to leapfrog uh, a lot of western countries who've already in a lot of ways digitized their uh, government services but using a Web2 model. So the Philippines is, able going, is going to be able to digitize their government services using a Web3 model, which will allow them to do it in a fundamentally different way that enhances privacy, that makes it really fast and efficient. And to us, this is a fantastic opportunity to help the Philippines lift themselves up and uh, become one of the leaders in, in what is basically going to be a revolution in how we deliver services of all types, not just government services, so. Oh, I love that. And I loved meeting all of the <laughs> Philippine contingency in London. Oh, so lovely. You know, they're always so bubbly and, and bright. Yeah, they're really, uh, I've worked in the Philippines before. I got into the blockchain and it's, it's such a, you always go there and you find these people and, and they're just ready to work and they're ready to use whatever they have at their disposal to get the job done. And I can really see that we're gonna start um, seeing really innovative products coming out of the Philippines and I can't wait to get to know some of the students who are coming through that program and especially as they get into things like the dojo and start really coming up with their own ideas, I think we're gonna be blown away. Yeah. I do do. So exciting. Oh, I'm so glad that you're involved with that. And I'm so glad that you're here in Exeter, Brendan. It's been so much fun spending time with you and enjoy your travels all around the world. Thank you very much, <laughs> Becky. I really appreciate it. And so tell me, Todd, what brings you here to Exeter to uh, enjoy the hackathon? Uh, just at the London Blockchain Conference, I was talking to Brendan and Shawe, and I'd heard sort of that this was going on, but I hadn't followed it up. And then they both said, you should come down. And Shawe was really um, supportive of that for me to come down and learn some S script. He said, we can get you from zero to hero, and um, maybe <laughs> zero to point one, you know, on the way to hero. But um, yeah, I just took them up on that offer and checked in with Jack and then came down and it's been a great time. Yeah, it was a total surprise seeing you here. It's great. So tell me a bit more about the initiatives in the Philippines and how are you going to be working with the university to put the course together for them? So I think we're going to go over first and do some faculty-wide training. Mm. And so we hopefully create competent educators that are able to teach our material. So we'll provide them that and then um, run them through. This would be maybe some ideas of how to assess it. This would be some ideas of how to create tutorial activities, um, some reading lists, and hope have those academics, you know, grill us back to make sure that they feel confident to present that material. And I imagine it'll be an involved process. So we'll start with a, an introductory blockchain for business course, and then we'll move into a maybe an introduction to business computing with blockchain. And then maybe in time, if that goes well, we'll 
put together an advanced program in business computing, which maybe would cover something like Script mm -hmm. and you know, potentially um, Babbage or some of these really complete um, platforms that allow you know someone to really take an idea and extend it into a you know a full product. Yeah. Wow, you've got a lot lots going on there, yeah. Todd. <laughs> also some um, sessions that are potentially going ahead with um, some of the administrative bodies to get them up to speed with stuff as well. So there's sort of a, a, the university training as well as the government officials and people from high places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Super, super exciting. So much learning going on. And actually, speaking of which, tell me something you've learned here at the hackathon. Uh, well, I couldn't, I hadn't been able to do any of these things before. I'd sort of looked at the documentation and felt Okay, I need to learn a few things, but each time it's an, another month that I haven't looked at it, they've done some remarkable things to make it easier and easier. So now I actually have managed to um, deploy a few contracts, um, create the front end and have it all synced up that I was clicking on my voting buttons and yeah, yeah achieved it on, yeah. Which is, that's, that's definitely an achievement for me. So I'm really stoked about that. Cool. Well, congrats on that and congrats on all the work you're doing. I can't wait to see what happens in the Philippines. Thank you, Todd. Thank Keep you. it up. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's Becky Legero for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.